Hey, how's it going, you guys? I'm going to show you how to make something really cool. It's pretty interesting how it works out, because Mirror Lab is pretty forgiving and allows some really cool things to happen. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make this black square. I'm just using lines, by the way. Uh, I like lines the most because it just starts out not all foggy like these guys. Although I would use these more often if I didn't have to like change a bunch of settings that were very difficult to change. But I choose this. Alright. And you can create squares with Kaleidoscope. But we're going to make the black color or whatever color you want. Uh, make it, you can do the white one red or whatever. But I'm going to do red because this red is like default like red. So when you, if you were to use Chroma Lab to alter the color of the, or if you wanted to apply the rainbow effect in chroma lab it'll basically cause this to accept the color 100 percent whereas you, if you did like this these off colors kind of it might be like a faded rainbow this is just surefire red good color so do that make that thing save it and now you're gonna you have to download an app called photo layers and it's just on the play store and what it allows you to do is put that image in there you always have to upload a background image i don't really know why but so you're going to add another image you're going to add the same image i usually just do the background of the image it's the same one so you're going to go cut on this image so we're going to no not like that <laughs> you're going to uh, go auto uh, you don't really need to change the cursor thing, you just need to move it so that that target is on. Threshold similar color, 50, just gets all of it right there. We So we've just created a transparency in that spot. So at this point, it saves that image automatically. So we go back to Mirror Lab. And now we open up the image we just made. And there you go. Now watch. We're just going to do... Actually, I'm going to show you something really interesting. It's hard to tell with this, but if you transparency other images, this mirror section, like everything in the mirror area, it like, if you move it at all, it like keeps... It doesn't delete the background as you move it. So it just like leaves it. So you just end up with like a... As soon as you tap the screen, though, it gets rid of it. It's kind of interesting. I kind of like it, but at the same time... It makes it hard to do things. But so, hold on. If you want lines, you're going to take this, go to break, uh, fix that glitch. You just like tap one of these keys. Uh, go to circular, because it's all I ever do. You don't do square. You'll find out later and understand why. So there we go. Bam. Now we have lines that have transparency white on them and so if you were to not that setting so now you have it's like you didn't have to go through and transparency each one of those lines it's you just kept the transparency and now it's here so this is pretty pretty awesome because now if you go back to photo layers you're gonna do this one and then distort it one time one time and bam save that one actually we're gonna make this one a different color hue go the complete opposite color so this is the color it chooses when you do that uh it's that kind of like 3d effect or whatever that's in glitch art so now oh, oops now we go to photo layers background we'll do that one sure remove add photo this one looks good And I think it kind of looks weird because we don't have a background, so I will actually 
replace the background with this something that's not transparency. So there's no transparency on that. And add this blue again. And there you go. You could always do like a white background too. And when you like move it, see that the pattern changes. These might not be the best two colors to go together, but hey, check it out. We can change the hue. Look, I didn't even have to change this. Like, but that's why it's cool to have this red because the red allows the colors to be just on the good colors. I kind of guess. I thought it was the good colors. Maybe I didn't do the hue properly before. I didn't pick the right color. No. It's not the right color. Whatever. Maybe this hue is weird. But, yeah. Other patterns do things, but... Cool. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You could also, like, record this. <laughs> you got already out.